Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video we're going to be unboxing a brand new $300 Bible from The Good Publishing Company. Okay, opened up. This is crazy! Okay, oh, it's a... Whoa! That is red. Cross that the Bible... Can I even get this in the camera? It's like a huge cross. You can put that on your wall. Okay, so I'm back for another unboxing video. This is one that I'm really excited about. This is a, a brand new Bible that's been in the news, a $300 new premium Bible from a company called The Good Publishing Company. And so the story on how I found out about this, one of my followers on Instagram sent me a message to the Bible Review Blog Instagram page and said, hey, have you, have you seen this new Bible that's coming out? And I went and checked it out, and I was like, oh, it's like this really bold, red, artistic Bible. There wasn't a lot of information. The account was kind of new. I was like, oh, this is this is cool. I, but I, I couldn't really tell what it was. And I actually sent them a message and I didn't hear back from them. And so I was like, okay, I'll keep an eye on that. And then a couple weeks later, I saw an article in Relevant Magazine about this Bible. And the article was kind of harsh. They were like kind of criticizing the idea of premium Bibles and, and what that meant. And I was like, I thought it was a little bit, a little bit like strong of, of a take, to be honest with you. And I was like, okay, so that's interesting. And then a couple of days after that, I got a call from a reporter from a religion news service, this awesome girl named Emily, and she's like, hey, I've seen Bible Review Blog. I want to interview you. Have you seen this new Bible from Good Publishing Company? They go by GPC. And I was like, yeah, I have. And so we did this whole interview. She ended up publishing a story about premium Bibles, and I told her about Skyler and R.L. Allen and other premium Bibles that I've learned about just through doing Bible Review Blog. She published that story. It ended up getting picked up by Christianity Today and the Washington Post. I got a Google alert, like, your name is in the Washington Post. I was like, what's going on? So this Bible has been in the news. People are checking out. They finally shipped these, and, and so after all of that happened, I was like, you know what? I've got to get one of these. I have to order one of these Bibles. So that's what I did. I ordered one. It just arrived. I have not opened the box yet. So I wanted you to, to join me here as I open this and get my very first impressions. I'm going to do a, a full review of this um, in a few days, but I just wanted you to see the unboxing, just first impressions. I, I, I know basically from their Instagram page a couple of things about this Bible, but I don't really know the full story. And I have, I have no idea what to expect when I open this box. So I've got my B camera right here. What's up? And uh, we're gonna we're gonna dive in. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, opened up. I'm kind of nervous. I'm kind of nervous about about this Bible. Let's see here. All right, flipping this around. So, man, this is cool. It's got like a yellow. What? Can you see this? Can I see this in the VK? It's like this yellow lined paper. It's got a little red envelope of some sort that says don't be afraid. I can see that there's something in there. I don't know how to get it out. Do I just pull it out? Yes. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So it says don't be afraid and it's got the good publishing company logo on the back. It's like this little sleeve. All right, it says we are honored to present you with the first edition of the GPC Bible designed by the esteemed artist Hey, so Eric Hayes is a famous New York artist, kind of graffiti style. GPC is a community of believers and creators whose mission is to bring God's holy word to life in new and innovative ways. It's got a whole lot of information on there. It's like a two from card. If you wanted to gift this to somebody, you can do that. That is, that's cool. I'm going to try to put that back in there. It reminds me of opening like a, a, an Apple product. You know how you could get like a new iPhone and it's like crazy like, what? This is... Dang, that's a that's a that's a box right there. I usually throw the boxes. Oh my gosh, this is heavy. It's red. Okay, red box. Okay, let me let me see if I can show this to you. So it says John 6:20, but he said to them, "It is I. Do not be afraid." So there's like the inside of the box. Do you see this? Can I, I can't even get that in the B camera right here. It's like a huge box. This is crazy. Okay. Sorry, that was loud. All right. Okay, it's got plastic shrink wrap around it. Let's see if I can get this open. Oh, that was easy. So this is like a red cardboard sleeve of, oh, I think I've seen this on their Instagram page, people opening, opening this up. So, okay. Opening it up. <laughs> Dang. Whoa, and it, it's a cross. It's a, whoa. That is red. <laughs> okay, so the the the, the slipcase is, is like a cardboard cross. It says, let me see if I can get this in here. It says, don't be afraid. 
but then it's like a huge cross that the Bible, can I even get this in the camera? It's like a huge cross to put that on your wall. Don't be afraid, John 6, 20. Wow. Wow. Okay. Hardcover. It's, it's very red. It's very red. Look at this. It's got like gold foil on the cover. It says Holy Bible. On the spine, it just has a little thin cross and says NIV. And then the back is totally clean. It's, so it's, and, and the pages are red as well. Can you see that? It's like totally, totally red. It is about the size, I thought it was going to be big, but it's big. It's, it's very big. Hardcover. It's kind of like a smooth, a smooth finish to it. Let's, let's see what happens here. Okay, it's paced down. It's got some end sheets that kind of have that, that, like the stripes on the box in there, kind of a yellow striped pattern. Single cross. So the cross on the outside is on the inside. Oh, cool. That's like a, you see through it. So when you open it up, it says the Holy Bible, but then you open this, this page and it goes like that. That's sweet. New International Version. MMXXI. I believe that's 2001. Okay, so Copyright page, GPC NIV Bible Hayes 2021. Table of contents. This is wild. Designed and published by Good Publishing Company. Where was this made? That's just like copyright information. I think I read that this was made in New York City. Calligraphy by Eric Hayes. This edition of the Holy Bible features titles and frontispiece designed for this edition by artist Eric Hayes. This is awesome. Oh, cool. The gold foil kind of continues. So you have Old Testament right there. That's super thick. Oh, wow. So this is kind of like a really creamy paper. All right. Okay, so his, his design is the, the title of the book. And then it's like a pretty... Oh, wow. Okay, two-column text, super modern font. I don't know what it is, but they've got uh, textual notes in the margins. It's a pretty small font, but it's re the paper is super thick. It's like opaque. This is not like thin Bible paper. This is like really thick. No, I mean, it's a huge, thick Bible, but like, oh, wow, okay. Interesting. Let me see if I can show this to you. So I'm in, I'm in the first few pages of Genesis. Really, really creamy paper, whoops, and there's two columns, and then the, the notes are out here, so it's like, it becomes like a wide margin Bible out here, and you could totally write on this if you wanted to. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of blown away. I, I think I read online that it was like fully, that's cool, you don't really see the red when you do the, like that way, but like when you turn it, you see how dark it gets? That's why the page edges are red like that. Okay, I see a couple ribbons in here. Oh, sweet. It says Old Testament on it. Can you see that? It says Old Testament at the bottom of it. Okay. So it looks like it's pretty standard, kind of two column. It kind of keeps the same thing. It's got a poetic setting in the Psalms. That looks really sharp. I mean, it's the, the font is a little small. It's red letter in the new... Oh, wait. I think I read about this too. It's like a really creamy paper in the Old Testament, and then the New Testament, it's bright white with red letters. Let's see if I can show you that. Red letter text and bright white paper compared to, if I go back here, the white versus the cream. You see that? So that's cream and that's white. Interesting. I mean, kind of their marketing materials is like, this is a, like a super artistic, you know, heirloom, you know, but it's very, it's very modern. It's not like old school, like an R.L. Allen Bible is like this very old world traditional binding technique. Um, man, okay. So you get to the end, it's 991 pages at the end of Revelation. So that's, I mean, for this to be 991 pages and this thick, that's, that tells you how thick the paper is. Like it's very, very thick paper. 
Designed by GPC in California. Oh, it was it was made, yeah, it was made in New York City. Wow. It it feels constructed. It feels very well constructed. It feels like it's I don't know much about the binding. This is really cool. I, I'm someone who's like spent a lot of time with like premium, premium, premium Bibles. Skyler, R.L. Allen, Cambridge, other premium Bible manufacturers that, you know, they might charge two hundred to two hundred and fifty dollars for a high end Bible. And this is it's, it's, it's like a totally different world. It's not like a, a goat skin Bible like that, like, like you're thinking of when you think of those premium. It's like a totally different vibe. The paper is impressive. The paper is really impressive. The look and the feel of the typesetting and everything is, is well done. The, the lettering is, is cool. I, I mean, I get it. Like, the, I mean, like, it's, it's put together really. It's red. It's very red. Huh. Okay. Okay, I have a lot of like research to do now to figure out more about like all the specs of this Bible. I mean, that's a it's a pretty small font. This is very interesting. This is very interesting. I think that it feels like a a super modern like it there's a, a calligraphy graffiti style art, a very modern like hipster version of the Bible is what this feels like and that that's clearly what they were going for, I think. Um and I dig it. Like I I think it's cool. I'm I'm not sure I'd be fascinated to know like how much these cost to produce because it it the fact that it, the cover is is just a hard cover and it's like it seems to me like a lot of your if you're in the premium bible world a lot of your like cost goes into the materials you're using so I don't know how much this paper costs I mean it's a very thick paper but I mean <laughs> like <laughs> put that on your on yourself they're kind of building this as like an heirloom quality Bible, and it, man, this this is very interesting. This is very interesting. I am, I think it's the whole overall look and feel of it is really cool. Um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. This is very interesting. Okay, I'm not gonna sit here and just be my jaw on the floor. I'm genuinely like, I mean, I wouldn't say I'm pleasantly surprised. It's cool. It's cool. I, I'm. You know, but I paid $300 for this. I'm not sure if it adds up. I'm going to do a full review of the GPC Bible. I'm going to tell you what I think. Um, but that's a first impression unboxing. That's what it's like to get that Bible out of the box. I think I'm able to see, obviously in person, you know, a little bit more of like what it would be like to actually read from this Bible and that sort of thing. And it's very massive. Like, that is huge. Um, anyway, I'm going to do a full review of this coming out very soon and kind of walk you through all the specs, the size, the font size, all that different stuff. Kind of see if I can find out some more information about this Bible. But the, the easily the most unique thing I've seen since I started doing Bible Review Blog. It's just totally different. And I, I laud them for that. Like, that's just a cool way to try something, try something totally different. So anyway, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think based on my first impressions right now. Tell me what your first impressions are of this Bible. You can definitely check out Bible Review Blog on Instagram and Facebook. And before you, before you head out of here on YouTube, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you'll be notified when I have the next video, the full review of this one. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. <music>